Hello, I'm Cameron Martis, your TA for ATM 101, with a step-by-step -step demonstration on how to collect official weather data from the web for your investigation. The data we will be using is provided by the National Weather Service and consists of tabular data detailing the weather conditions at the chosen site for every hour within the selected time frame. Observations are available for up to 120 hours before the current time and are taken at most airstrips in Alaska. To access the weather observations, direct your web browser to the Alaska Regional Headquarters of the National Weather Service, www.arh.noaa.gov. In the sidebar on the left, scroll down to Specialty Areas and click TV Weather. On the resulting page, scroll down again to Data and click Observations. In the drop-down menus at the top of the Observations page, Select the number of hours before the current time and the station that you want observations for, and the data appears on the screen. Notice that you can also access this page by simply typing the web address, pafc.arh.noaa.gov slash obs.php. This weather data contains many columns of information. The location the data was collected, which should be the same for all the data. Whether the observation was manual or automatic. The day of observation within the current month. The local time of observation. This column and the next three columns are sky conditions, which will not be used in this exercise. These are based on information from the automated cloud sounder and contain information on how much of the sky is covered and the height of the clouds. The first three characters gives the amount of sky cover in eighths, with CLR for clear being zero eighths covered, FEW for few being one to two eighths covered, SCT for scattered being 3 to 5 eighths covered, BKN for broken being 6 to 7 eighths covered, and OVC for overcast being 8 eighths covered. The number after these three characters is the height of the clouds in hundreds of feet. For cloud heights less than 10,000 feet is above the ground, and for cloud heights over 10,000 feet it is above mean sea level. Visibility in miles. The maximum given is 10, even though the true visibility is often much more. A column giving information on non-quantified weather, which is often not filled. The air temperature in Fahrenheit. The dew point temperature in Fahrenheit. Wind direction in degrees from north the first three digits, and speed in knots, the last two digits. Altimeter setting, a way of expressing the barometric pressure in inches of mercury with less digits. Relative humidity. Wind till temperature in Fahrenheit. The peak wind gust speed in knots, which is rarely filled. Admittedly, you may be unsure as to what some of these columns mean, but don't worry, we will explain to them to you when you need to use them. For more information, click the Key to Observations link at the bottom of the page. To make the process simple, we will have you collect data in whole day increments. Since the data is available for 120 hours, you should only need to collect it twice once in the middle of the week and once at the end of the week. Just make sure to remember to collect the data at least twice in the week so that you don't miss any. Also, when you collect the data, make sure you take all the days that you need and don't lose any data. For the exercises in this course, you should collect for Sunday through Friday, collect the data on the last time on Saturday, so that you get all of Friday. 
Here I'm going to copy the data for the 22nd through the 24th. To collect the data, highlight the days you want and copy them by either selecting Copy in the Edit menu, right-clicking and selecting Copy from the drop-down menu, or using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-C. Then paste the data in a plain text editor, such as Notepad, by using either of the aforementioned menus or the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-V. Save this data as a plain text file with extension .txt. Preferably with the file name that lists the dates of the data and the station ID. When you collect data again, collect only the days that appeared after you collected data last and paste them at the end of the same text file. Now I will add the data for the 25th. 